Welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. Alrighty, everybody. So, while our ants keep collecting this, we're going to go ahead and move on. Oops, wrong button. <clears throat> wrong button again. And we're going to do Queen of the Hill on Insane with uh, Challenge Mode active. It's pretty much the same as... Uh... <clears throat> well, you'll see. A number of small Formica, Rufa, and Fusca colonies have established themselves on this beach. Those nearest to the water's edge have enjoyed the first pick of the washed-up seafood for the past few days. However, as the sun and moon near alignment and the first spring tide of the month approaches, high tide draws nearer to these intrepid ants. Seemingly aware of their circumstances, these colonies are preparing to relocate to higher ground. There is only one way up the bank, and the route is currently occupied by a small roofer colony. These defenders will have to hold their ground against the oncoming siege. It will be three days before the high tide washes away the competition. If the colony survives, it will inherit the beach. <coughs> but this won't be an easy fight. Alright, so quick rundown of what I do here. We got our food chamber to be for built. This colony, the queen's choice of home could not have been worse. This stretch of beach is peppered with burrowed tiger beetle larvae. They lie, jaws primed, with only their armored heads visible from the sand. Anything that stumbles into their pit is speared and dragged below. This game, a this match, a little bit more so than the other one, is speed intensive. Because <clears throat> we're going to get attacked, we're going to have to fight. You do need a lot of uh, workers, though, and we also need to get a cluster. This cluster over here will be very quick for us to build up for... Although um, the nests nearer the water have better access to the food washed up by the sea, this roofer colony need not starve. The plant life growing nearby is home to herds of gray aphids. As they feed on plant sap, these tiny insects excrete droplets of honeydew, which the wood ants find irresistible. They need only protect the aphids from danger to receive a constant supply of sugary liquid. Doing so is not always simple, however. Hungry ladybird beetles know exactly where the aphids like to graze. They can strip an unguarded stem bare in a mere matter of minutes. The ants will need to keep a close watch over their flock. Okay, so what I usually do in this map is I usually actually go after the right. But on this difficulty, the insane difficulty, you want to go An to the left because it's to a beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. <laughs> it's the easier. Predators are difficult to see and lightning fast. For the moment, I'm actually going to turn off combat for group one because we got to get each one up to about 20 ants, and then we got to uh, one and two both need to be about 20, and we need to rush as fast as we can. Other thing we need to do is we do need to build some food. Okay, where's our uh, aphid farms going? Okay, good. More We're getting ants some. Have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. We just, it's really a rush to get this stuff going. <clears throat> We've almost got the first group big enough. Eighteen, nineteen. Okay, twenty. So we got the first group big enough. Now we can start building up the second group real quick. Unfortunately, we are basically suiciding in there. 
This but we don't have a must choice. Remain small for now. Food is too scarce to support greater numbers. This is group two. Um, so two is gonna now rotate with one over here. Go no combat mode. One is gonna go to this side. Still doing the no combat the thing. Are they hiding in their burrows or eating well? Every ant lost to them diminishes the colony. Really need to rush though. We're gonna get attacked soon. That's the other problem. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. That's putting at us at 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. The party of Formica Fusca black ants are heading inland. Oh crap. The high ground roofer colony must defend their territory. All right, here goes the first fight. Swarm them with enough numbers, we'll be fine, but we will go over here like this in these two spots. We're going to get our uh, first wood ant chamber ready. Should look something like this. But we need to finish these guys off first. Jesus. How hard is it to kill those things? Okay. There we go. The roof are calling And then we the got this problem to deal with. with their queen. The high ground colony must keep the We just need bay. to quickly finish this off and then get going. Alright, so we quickly grabbed all that. Might have been a little bit too slow. We'll find out here. I hope not. We got numbers. I think we'll be alright here. Colony is starving. Oh, we ran out. Food to feed uh, this is rough. Actually, go ahead and chop down a couple of these. It looks like there's nothing going on for them collecting, so that probably the first day is complete, which is good. One to go over here. Two's gonna head back over this way. Actually, the two's gonna grab this real quick. Have relented their so we finally beat that. Night that was a very close call. We probably were a host of so close to losing that it was probably ridiculous. The high ground ants could go underground to wait out the night, but they would have to leave their precious aphids unguarded. It is a difficult choice for this colony. Face the peril out in the open. I haven't done this in a while, so we might be setting ourselves up for defeat food. here. Being completely the honest. Are they hiding in their burrows or eating well? Every ant lost to them diminishes the colony. Got a lot of food coming in. Good. Um, let's go here. She build our next More wood ants ant up been here. More by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. Okay, let's swap it around. One can go there. Oh, wait. No, we want both one and two over here. That's a lot of firepower right there. Oh, crap. Actually, let's have one and two go to this side. And abandon ship on this side for just a minute. We need more wood ants before we go over there. Uh, but we can kill these, and this will give us a decent chunk of food. We just lost, didn't we? We did. 
Alright, well, um, that's round one. I'm gonna go ahead and start over instead of actually finishing it, and we'll go from there. Alrighty, everybody, you saw me get my butt kicked, so, oops, wrong button. Let's go ahead and we're gonna try Queen of the Hill yet again on Insane with the mortars. And I use mortars for everything. A lot of people disagree with that, but that's my, my method. Did I? What the? Interesting. What in the? Okay, come on. I'm already having a hard day as it appears. Okay. A number of small Formica, Rufa, and Fusca colonies have established themselves on this beach. Those nearest to the water's edge have enjoyed the first pick of the washed up seafood for the past few days. However, as the sun and moon near alignment and the first spring tide of the month approaches, high tide draws nearer to these intrepid ants. Seemingly aware of their circumstances, these colonies are preparing to relocate to higher ground. There is only one way up the bank, and the route is currently occupied by a small roofer colony. These defenders will have to hold their ground against the oncoming siege. It will be three days before the high tide washes away the competition. If the colony survives, it will inherit the beach. But this won't be an easy fight. Alright, so... I got a little bit of a change in strategy here. Um, Unfortunately for this colony, the Queen's choice of home could not have been worse. This stretch of beach is peppered with burrowed tiger beetle larvae. They lie, jaws primed, with only their armored heads visible from the sand. Anything that stumbles into their pit is speared and dragged below. Alright. <clears throat> so saying that, we got a little change in strategy, we're gonna get this going. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. Although the nests nearer the water have better access to the food washed up by the sea, this roofer colony need not stop. Kay. The plant life growing nearby is home to herds of grey aphids. As they feed on plant sap, these tiny insects excrete droplets of honeydew, which the wood ants find irresistible. They need only that protect did not quite go the way I wanted it to, but it went. Sugary liquid. Doing so is not always simple, however. Hungry ladybird beetles know exactly where the aphids like to graze. They can strip an unguarded stem bare in a mere matter of minutes. The ants will need to keep a close watch over their flock. Alright, so our method this time... We're trying to minimalize using a lot of excess resources, and we're going to just kind of focus on building ourselves up a supply. We need, um, this we're going to get wood ants, for now. and we're going to focus Food on them pretty hard. To support greater numbers. Do something like that too. Probably too early to build the food chamber, but whatever. We need wood ants, we need them pretty bad. And the most important part is we really need to upgrade them more than anything else. Alright, so that gave us seven. I'm turning off combat mode because we're really just after the uh, honeydew. We could care less about fighting everything and trying to be some great monstrosities. Like, we're, we're not going to kill this stuff. Not anytime soon. So, we're mostly after trying to get resources as fast as possible. We do need to get a couple step. tanks here, or, no, not tanks, I don't call them tanks, fast. they're soldiers, you know, that's what they are. 
They're soldiers. So I'm going to make the melee... I'm going to actually move been over here to two. Lave, lying in wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shush. A party of Formica Fusca Black Ants are heading inland. The high ground roof of Camp. Colony must defend their territory. Probably the best we're going to get for the moment. So here we go. Okay. Go. I do want a little bit more soldiers here. That one's dead right the there. Is starving. There's not enough food to Hold feed you. the new brood. The roofer colony on the low ground are sending troops to clear a path for their queen. The high ground colony must keep them at bay. Dead. We're Penance now ready for the battle here. A beetle lava trap. They must watch their step. The voracious predators <clears throat> are difficult to see and lightning fast. Let's get a little bit more from the surface here. Try and fill this up, and then we're going to start cleaning out the inside of the uh, base here. More ants have been caught by tiger beetle larvae lying in wait. Also should go ahead and upgrade the food storage real quick because we do need that all right this way now the lower Don't have ground a colonies have relented their siege for now night approaches and with it it brings a host of nocturnal predators out onto the beach the high ground ants could go underground to wait out the night but they would have to leave their precious aphids unguarded. It is a difficult choice for this colony. Face the peril out in the open, or hide away and risk losing their only reliable source of food. Alrighty. So now that we got this set up, I am going to... Well, well, we're going to wait on that. Those are... That's fine for the melee at the moment. I'm going to extend this out, and we're going to make more workers, though. And there I'm going to make a nest. colony pod, which will be a, uh, basically it's going to be a mass for the, um, call it, nurseries. Alright, I think we got everything from this. Almost. No, let's have... Yeah, what? Well, doesn't matter. Grab it, hurry. Okay, come back over this way. There are intruders in the nest. Go this way. Do-do-do-do. 
Okay, that's a good chunk of food right there we just got. Hurry up and get all that, please. Some more mortars to make up here. Come on, grab it, please. All right, there we go. Next chomp. <clears throat> gonna clean out the left side, all of this right here. Then we're going up on above ground to kill everything outside. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. All right, that's an easy kill. Put a worker here and go clean that up real quick. Okay. Next one, straight down here. Come on, get workers over there and get this going. There are intruders in the nest. We gotta clean up that swath up there too. I'm gonna go ahead and expand this and make a the uh, warrior chamber a little bit bigger as well. However, my focus isn't on the warriors at this exact moment, even though they are indeed a thing. We're heavily focusing on the mortars. 